historic, marvelous, a must-see. We've heard the solar eclipse described as many things, but did you know our area schools played a big role in past solar eclipses? As the Now's Matthew Smith explains, EMU has a unique connection to Thomas Edison and a past eclipse. Truly historic, way before you'd be using things like this to actually take a look at the eclipse. The year 1878, the place, Wyoming. But it does have a Michigan connection, and it also brings in a young Thomas Edison. Something to be marveled at. It sat inside the EMU Observatory office for years. But before that, it sat behind the eye of one Thomas Edison. In fact, when Edison traveled to Rawlings, Wyoming in 1878, he wasn't the household name he is now. Just one of the younger guys in a group that borrowed this very telescope from Eastern Michigan so they could view a total solar eclipse. There is a lot of science seeing the uh, outer corona of the sun, the outer layer of the sun, uh, which you can only do during an eclipse, or uh, at least uh, back in the day you could only do during an eclipse. Believe it or not, this Alvin Clark refractor wasn't meant to study the sun per se, but to use that moment to look for a theoretical planet known as Vulcan. You haven't heard of it? That's because it doesn't exist, but back then it was thought to be the reason Mercury had a peculiar orbit. And as Mercury orbited the sun, its position was just wasn't working out mathematically. What they didn't realize, they needed a guy named Einstein to come along a few decades later and explain curvature of gravity fields and so forth. So it's a remarkable instrument. One that connects a past solar eclipse, our area, and one of the most important scientists of all time. So certainly these things are historic. Each and every one has a story behind it. But if you have your glasses and you've already used them today, don't throw them out. The next time you can use them, 2024. And you don't have to go very far to be in the path of totality that time around. You'll just have to make a little jaunt down to Ohio. But here's the thing. It'll be several more decades until the one after that. So truly when people say once of a lifetime, maybe not exactly, but pretty darn close. For the Now Detroit, I'm Matthew Smith.